Hi everyone, I'm Chris from Simply Classic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited about today's video. In this box right here sits my new Skyver. And I know you're going to be thinking that's an awful small box for a Skyver. But um, it's a different kind of Skyver than I've ever seen. So let me tell you a little bit about how I got here. I love working with leather. I really do. But I'm finding that a lot of people don't particularly like to purchase leather bags. And I don't know if that's because of the cost or maybe because they want a vegan alternative um, or maybe both. But I find that my faux leather bags sell a lot better than my real leather bags. Not that real leather bags don't sell because some people do specifically want that. But, it, you know, they're few and far between. Um, but despite that, I do like working with leather. And I just could not justify buying a Bell Skyver. Um, it just didn't make sense. It wasn't, when I look at the benefit I would get from it, it just, just didn't make sense. Maybe at some point, if I get to a, you know, to a point where I'm doing a lot more leather, people are buying a lot more leather bags, it might. But at this point, it doesn't. So if you've ever worked with leather, you know that a lot of times you need to skive it. You need to at least skive the edges because when you go to sew this, you know, two pieces of leather together, you end up with five or six ounces of leather and it's just too much. So I had bought this handy dandy leather skiver, hand skiver. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these. Um, I think I got this from Tandy. And I've watched many a video on how to use it and my hats are off to the people who do it because I have tried. I can't get this thing to work. I end up, and I'm sure it's all user error. Um, I'm sure, I don't know. I end up ripping the leather, tearing it. Then I get frustrated and anyway, it just, it just doesn't work for me. So I watched, you know, I was trying to figure out what to get. And you see a lot of hand tools where people have like knives and they dig into it and somehow, and, and it's just because they're this good, they have a lot of practice. They're able to take that knife and they're able to skive off exactly the same amount of leather through the whole thing. Um, when I was able to get something off with this, I can promise you it was not even. So I felt like there had to be something between this and a bell skiver. So I went on the search and I did a bunch of research and this is what I found. So I'm going to move the camera down so you can see. Um, I have just un unstuck the box, but I haven't even taken it out yet. So let me move you down and let's see what we got here. So I ordered this from Amazon and I think it was $300. I'm going to link it below. Um, it is not an affiliate link. So, you know, if you click on it and order, obviously I don't get anything from it. Um, and it, it qualified for prime, but I think instead of getting it in two days, I got it in three, no big deal. So this is how it comes packaged. And with, oh, they did charge me shipping. So with shipping, it was $338. And it's a Sharfix leather pairing device is what they call it. Now it's a German company. And from what I understand, there are a lot of Chinese knockoffs. And my research showed that it probably would not be worth buying one of those. And I'll tell you why as we get through. Um, but as you see, they packaged it really nice in this nice little case. Right. So in this case, we have instruction manual. And because it is a German product, oh, we do have some English in here. Okay. We have German and English. Nice padding in here. We have a tool um, to it's like a, what do you call those tools? It's a, um, oh crap, you know what I'm talking about. One of those, it's not a regular screwdriver. It's a, I'll think of the name, sorry. We have one of these. 
we have different rollers, which I'll show you what these are for um, as we get this set up. We have a pack of razor blades. And then we have a skiver. Here we go. So this is what it is. And it looks like they tested it because there's a piece of leather in here. Okay. So you hook it to your table. So I'm just going to unwind this here. And hopefully it'll fit on this. Let's see. Yep. Here, I'm going to move you over a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So it's convenient because you can take it out when you need it and put it up in a nice box when you don't. Okay, so from what I remember um, on the videos that I watched, you've got all these different settings. And I'm actually gonna switch the camera over to my side because I think a lot of the settings are over here um, as far as what you need to do to change it. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. So I'm going to go over each of the little dials on here and I am learning this as you are. So I want you to see how easy or how hard it is to get it set up if you choose to purchase one of these. So the number one is the thickness adjustment screw and that's this screw up here. So if you can see as you screw this up and down, this blade here the, the distance between the roller and the blade gets bigger or gets smaller. Okay. So you, that's how you adjust the blade thickness up and down. The number two, which is this level, this here, adjust the angle of the blade. So if you want a very even straight scythe, you're going to make sure that your blade is perfectly flat. If you want to have a little bit of an angle, maybe because you're doing the very edge and you want it kind of beveled, then that's what this here does. It changes the angle of the blade. And you can see, see how that's changing? And see now it's going straight again, okay? Um, the third dial is, or the third thing is this over here. This is on the other side, and it's just a lever that lets this whole unit up and down. So you can put your leather in, get it situated, and then put the unit down to grab into the leather. Okay, so that's what that is. The fourth is the screw for fixing the blade. So that's this here. And the word I was looking for earlier is an Allen wrench. So that's what your, this is for. You can actually stick this in here and you can remove this and take your blade out and switch your blade. Now, one of the reasons why I liked this option is because this uses regular blades. You don't have to send the blade out to get sharpened. It's like a um, shaving blade. So if you see here, this is a, just a blade that you can get on Amazon or whatnot, and you just stick this right on like this. You have obviously two sides to the blade, so you can switch around and use it twice. And then you can just screw that in, and that's how easy it is to change your blade when your blade gets dull. All right, let's see how easy this is. Hold on a minute. I'm going to turn this around to get the sharpest side because it looks like they tested it. Get this in. Okay. 
Okay, and just like that, you can change your blade. So it's simple. Okay, um, number five is the blade itself, which we just looked at. Um, number six is the roller, and that's this mechanism right here. See how that rolls? Now, the reason why you have these other rollers is because you can change that roller out and this roller here will give you a sky this entire width, where if you put one of these in, you're going to have a portion of it, you know, just a smaller sky. So you can change these out. I am assuming I'm going to be using this roller 99.9999% of the time. Okay. Then we have uh, the stop. So what that is, is this right here. You can unscrew this and bring this up and you can adjust the width so that if you're skiving something and you just want to skive an inch, you'd put this stop in or you'd put this up so that your leather can't go beyond that point. Or if you wanted to, you could, let's see, you could actually put it this way as well if you have a, a bigger area. Now, obviously you wouldn't be skiving this entire thing because the blade's only right here, but you could at least hold it steady when you run your leather through and make sure that it's an even skive, okay? So that's what that part is. Let's stick this back in here for right now. All right, the next is, um, the blade holder, which is number eight, and they are showing that as, oh, this whole unit right here, that goes up and down. And then nine, 10, and 11, that's these, these other rollers here, okay? So, I have a couple pieces of leather here. And let's look and see. This leather measures one, about 1 1.4 ounces. And this is just a, so really it's a fairly thin leather. It probably doesn't need to be sky, but we're gonna check it out and see. So first thing I wanna do, um, I think, is make sure that my blade is level and that there's no angle to it. Going to lift, let's see, that's, so lift the mechanism. And it actually looks like, there might be a little angle to that, but let's just try it. All right, so what you do is you stick your leather in. Okay, you lock it in. And then you're supposed to be able to just pull it through. All right. Okay, so I can see that I have this set way too deep because you see it cut right through my leather. All right, so let's lower the blade. Okay, that's lifting it. Yeah, we need to lift the blade. So we're gonna lift the blade. Okay. Lift this up. Now I probably do not need to have this on my cutting mat because I think it's not staying super tight. All right, so we're gonna put this in again. Lay it down. And as you see, that's too much because I can literally pull this piece of leather through without it even hitting. All right, so let's lift it up and let's lower it a little bit. Okay. 
and I can see again, I have gone right through. All right, so I can see this is gonna take a little bit of tweaking here. And I think the angle, I don't know. I think my angle's off and that's part of the problem. All right. There we go. Okay, so that took off this piece of leather here, the backing of it, and it left this here. So now, instead of being one point, let's see here, it was um, about one and a half ounces, now it is half point five so I took off a whole ounce of leather look at how even that is and as y'all can see I had a little trial and error right but that really is not difficult that is nice all right I'm gonna back you up so I can get okay so, I'm sure that it's gonna vary with the different thicknesses of leather and things that you have. So let's just see how this works. Yep. So then I would go in the other direction to get this other piece off here. Okay, and then I'll go this way to get this side off. So it looks like I still could have gone a little bit deeper there. And that is remarkably thinner. That is very good. Okay, so now the next thing I wanna try is let's say I have a piece of leather and I only wanna skive the edge. I don't wanna skive, I mean, because that's typically what you're doing is you just wanna skive your seam allowance. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise my stop here. Lift this up and move it over a little bit more. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just sky the very edge of this. Let's see how that works.
So I can see how um, when you skive, if you, you know, the very beginning here, I wasn't able to get because I had to stick that under, that would be a little tough to get. Because if you went, if you turned it around, you're going to end up having, you know, doing this side. So it looks like there's gonna be a little left over here. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that. I can definitely get a little closer though. So I think the thing to do would probably be to skive the edges, like cut a rough piece of your, um, or maybe cut it a little bit longer, your pattern piece. Go ahead and skive and then cut the side edges. Okay. And really that I think is about all there is to it. Um, to change out your roller if you wanted to do that. This just literally comes up and out. It's that easy. You put a different roller in or you can just put this one right back in. It just sits in there and that's it. So I think this is going to work out wonderful. Um, and again, it is a Sharfix. German product Sharfix. So what I was gonna tell you is that there are some Chinese knockoffs out there. I've seen them and you see them on Amazon and they are cheaper. So it's a little um, tempting to try it. They set up the same way. But from my research, what happens with the Chinese knockoffs is you can set your blade height and then when you go to lower your blade the next time, it doesn't set at the same height. So you can have a scythe that you do and then maybe you turn it to do the next edge and it's gonna end up being different from this edge because it doesn't hold its um, height, if that makes sense. It doesn't hold its position. So I decided that I didn't want to take a chance. I don't know if that's true or not, um, but I didn't want to take a chance on that happening and spend a hundred and whatever dollars on it and then end up having to buy this one anyway. So I just decided to go ahead and, and go with the, the real thing. Um, okay, so if you have been sitting on the fence on what to do with skiving or if you, you know, you want to dive into leather and you know that that little hand tool just is not going to work for you, I would say this is probably a good choice, a good option. So check it out and I will be doing some videos with some leather and we'll use it so you'll be able to see it more. Uh, and until then, happy sewing!